Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is Physical Design Course Lecture 13 Part 7 on Physical Design Input Constraints where we shall be looking at some very important and interesting topics for those who are in academics and in professional engineering world. In previous lecture, we have briefly discussed about netlist lefts, timing libs and constraints and technology file. We have discussed that what they contains and why they are important. And now in this lecture, we will discuss about what is def file, why it is needed. And today we will also see what are the contents of it and how is it different from the left file. Def stands for design exchange format and it is used to represent the physical layout of an IC in an SCI format. It represents netlist and circuit layout. And a common question that arises in the mind when candidate hears this first that def also provides a physical view, left also provides a physical view, then why have both and not only the one? Well, the short answer is we use def file along with left file to represent complete layout of an integrated circuit while it is designed. Now, here is a quick difference between these two files which should help you understand which one is important and why. As mentioned over here, left provides the abstract view of design while def provides the detailed view of the physical design and left provides the representation of macros or any portion of the design which is black boxed and we only see the top layer pins for access in the left file while in your dev file it has physical structure of design such as die core and placement of cells and routes etc so let us understand furthermore about dev through this example let's take the example of a map of house which let's say you want to construct in this map you will specify all the layout with dimensions of each room and each item that you plan to include in the house for example let's say you want to have the dimension of this room of 14 feet by 16 feet and then you start defining dimension and position of each object which you want to be placed in the house for example you wish that there is a dining table here which must be placed like this and you want it to be of certain dimensions so now these are all the components which you want to be included in the dev file we don't care what is internal to this dining table we only want its shape size and position and we know that it will have a four leg so there is an abstract information about the dining table which will be contained in the left that it will be circular in shape with four legs and hence while creating the designs left you will need only shape and size of the object which is abstract view while you need a full entire information of the design with all the dimensions that will be contained in the def let us take a more realistic example so here is a top level floor plan block and it has four blocks you can see that so now in this top level floor plan block in industry depending on the complexity it is possible that each individual block would have been designed by pd engineers separately and then top level person will integrate all the four blocks in the design hence for a top level person it will be individual blocks imported using the def and here there are some macros which can be imported in the design using lefts for each individual macro hence while designing a four floor plan top level person will create a def which will specify all the core block shape size row width row height etc so please note one very important difference between left and def that left is a mandatory input to start the design such as macro lefts are always needed but design can be created without input def also in that case designer will import the other input collaterals and it will create a def in the floor plan which will be used by the further subsequent stages as the input now let us try to understand the contents of the def so this is how a def is started here you can see that we have mentioned the version of the def when we write it and then divide char is one variable which is defined here bus bits are defined inside the square basis so they have written it like this that uh, in the square braces you will find the bus bits and then design this is the name of the design so you can say that this is design name and then we have here the distance so you can see that distance is in 
microns and then comes the dye area part so dye area how it is defined is very important it is defined in a proper clockwise fashion starting from the origin this defines your size of the dye so how it is it is like this so it starts with 0 0 and then the shape of the block is let's say like this so your 0 0 will be here and then comes the 0 38 so next coordinate will be 0 38 and then 1438 so 1438 will be here and in the same y, same x you can find then 1422 here so 1422 is here and then your 1822 is here and in the same x you will find 180 here so this is how it will be mentioned it will always be in the clockwise fashion like this and order is very important in defining the shape so this shape is a rectilinear shape you can have a shape rectilinear or rectangle or a square and then comes the next definition so this is how you define your rows rows are defined like this so you can see that inside all the die you will find different rows for in which the standard cells are placed so after you mention a row you mention a row name and then you mention a row type and then you mention the placement and how it is oriented and it is the row height so this is how you mention a particular row now let's see some more contents of the dev file so here we have defined end cap how it is defined is we will define end cap instance name first then the reference name for instance name and then the source distance that is from origin and then its status whether it is fixed or placed and then its location and then its orientation so there are many new things that you would have heard in this line like what is end cap what is the meaning of reference name here and what is the meaning of orientation and what is the meaning of placement status so we will cover that don't worry in the further videos we have a detailed orientation about this that how uh, it is defined so what are the reference name and what is the placement meaning here what is the orientation meaning we will cover that in detail in the further videos for now you can understand that this end cap is nothing but a physical cell so it's nothing but a physical cell it does not have any functionality but it is very important for design for manufacturing and uh, then we have a particular reference name as per the foundry over here then we have a placement status it is usually fixed only then we have a orientation over here along with its coordinates then next is your blockage we have defined sorry we have defined here your uh, placement of the instances so what all standard cells are present in the design they are defined in similar fashion we first have a instance name then corresponding reference name then corresponding placement status and then your coordinates and then your orientation so it is very similar to how you define your end caps there is no change in the format with the between the two it's just that this is physical however all the instance name where which are defined here are logical they have a particular functionality and they will be part of your net list like this so then next is we have defined over here is blockages this is how you define your blockages so there are many different type of blockages just for overview we can specify here that usually we have hard placement blockages and then you have uh, partial placement blockages and you have a soft placement blockages so these are major type of difference uh, type of pl placement blockages that are present in the design these are also part of your def since def is a detailed physical view it will have everything whatever present in the design so bl blockages are also part of it this is the blockage name then we have it is de defined as a rectangular rectangle then uh, what is the uh, coordinate of the blockage and then end blockages is the command to terminate the definition of your blockage apart from all this you will also have in the design the nets or special nets all these are part of your def this everything is defined in the def that's all for this video we will come up with more concepts in the further videos please like share and subscribe to the channel and please do give your important feedback in the comment section thank you